Uh, my name is John Krozik. I build metal sculpture, and uh, I live here in Malibu, California. Well, for me, it's all about making statements that are, they're not political for me, they're not uh, socio or economical statements. For me, they're, uh, they're shapes and designs, and uh, I want people to see this stuff and sort of be blown away by either the sheer size, the weight or the weightlessness. You see these hard, huge pieces and they're very, weigh a, a ton or several tons, but they sort of balance on small points and, um, and sort of def not defy gravity, but they're, they tend to be more whimsical, my sculpture, than heavy and... Uh-huh. Even though they're made out of metal, they seem fluid. Well, that's the idea is I try to take, you know, if you look at these pieces here, so the new work, I try to take metal and then almost make it like it's a like a, a very malleable material, almost like water in some way, do stainless steel pieces that, that uh, they almost flow, kind of like how ice turns and twists or smoke or water, you know, so that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. Pretty much started in metal the first day, I just started whacking away at metal and hammering it and kicking it and punching it and biting it and whatever I could do to turn it and twist it and, and change the uh, that flat, you know, hospital type surface, you know, into something that's mostly organic and some have beautiful colors, some are stainless steel with beautiful polishes on them. Uh, so that's sort of the idea. Have you worked in uh, precious metals? I have never worked in precious metals. I'd like to. Maybe one of these days. <laughs> money to do it, right? Yeah, that's right. Somebody wants to give me a big sheet of gold. I wonder how you'd even work with something like that. But That'd be wild, huh? It would be wild. It'd be fun to have a competition let people name it. I, names to me aren't, aren't important for my sculpture. It's just a way to denote which one is which. Uh -huh. So for me, I'd, I'd rather let the public come up with some really interesting, crazy, uh, crazy creative idea for a name. So. Well, that's I'll definitely an interactive challenge. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. I'll, leave, I'll let other people name it. I think it's more fun that way. Seven or eight weekends up there from, uh, I think, December of 2011 or 2012. I can't remember what year it was. It's all run together. Uh -huh. uh, till about March. So I was going, working for three or four days straight, leaving, working, leaving, working. Went back down to LA. Now, does it have a plaque? Uh, it doesn't. My name is signed on it on one of the pieces uh -huh. that you walk under on the left hand side. I signed my name Krozik down there, but that's all I put on it right now. Okay. I think there are, I think, I think uh, there will be a plaque. Put okay. On. Well, we could always make the plaque also interactive. That'd be fabulous. Yeah. And so, what I did today is I brought a couple of the tags that actually go on metal, okay. and they're very tiny. Uh, we could put them on there, or we could actually just tag the, the plaque itself. It's just all up to you. Yeah, we, I, can, we can figure it out. When I see them, I'll okay, sure. how we do it. Yeah, there's a, definitely a tremendous amount of surface we're talking about, right? Tremendous amount of surface. How much do they weigh? You know, all, all three told, I think they're about 17,000 pounds. Wow. And I built it all. I mean, you can see my studio is yeah. not very big. And so we built it all here, and it was like a jungle gym, trying to get around stuff and moving stuff. It was a very, very difficult process. I see. And this was commissioned? It was commissioned by, uh, by Kilroy Realty. Great. Oh, it's a building up there.